Hey guys, welcome back to Lavender Polish. Today we're going to be doing another complicated gradient because I like to torture myself. All right, let's get started. We're gonna jump right in today with Mint Candy Apple by Essie. It's a really cute mint green polish. It goes on in about three coats, which is a bit more than I like for my cream polishes. I usually prefer them to be at least two coats, but it is a very pretty color. And I usually really enjoy Essie's formula, so we're just gonna let this one slide. I noticed that the formula of this particular polish was also quite liquidy, which is why I ended up flooding my cuticle right there. Uh, don't mind that. I went ahead and tried to clean it up before adding my second coat just to make sure it didn't dry off on me so I didn't have to use any acetone. Honestly, I probably could have gotten away with two coats for this, but it was just a tiny bit too shy and I thought it would be best to go on the third. No harm done. Before we move on to the next step, I'm going to apply Simply Peel by Bliss Kiss around the edges of my nails. This is a liquid latex barrier that'll make clean up much easier in the future. I applied it around my nail, but I actually decided to not show you guys what I did on the right side of my nail because it's a complete secret. I did not block the camera on accident. I did it absolutely on purpose. You guys just aren't good enough to know how I paint the right side of my skin yet, so sorry about that. Anyways, I took a makeup sponge and I applied Blue Flame by Sally Hansen. And again, Mint Candy Apple by Essie. Now, Blue Flame is a polish that I got off of, it's from Sally Hansen, but I got it off of Amazon in one of those bundle polish kits. I, I kind of wanted to see what was up with them if they were actually good. I noticed that the formulas of all the polishes I got from that bundle were very, very watered down and thin, which makes them not too great for gradienting. So I did have to do quite a few coats to really get this to show through. But in the end, I think it worked fairly seamlessly with the rest of my higher quality polishes. Anyways, I'm going to take some products from Twinkle Tea. We've got some striping tape and this thick line and I'm lining them down my nail to sort of create these two triangles that you see here. And then once again with Simply Peel, I decided to actually show you guys what I was doing this time, applying it around the outside of my nails and applied it on the upper half of my nail as well to make sure that none of the nail polish in that spot would be exposed to the gradient I was about to put over top. Taking the makeup sponge again, I am creating another gradient but with the colors flipped. So now Mint Candy Apple is on top and Blue Flame is on the bottom and I went ahead and applied that to my nails using the same te technique I did last time. Once again, I had a lot of trouble getting Blue Flame to really stick on top of Mint Candy Apple. Even though Blue Flame is much darker color, it was just so thin that it was very, very tricky to get it to work. It took a lot of time, took quite a bit of patience, took me considering just redoing this with different colors, but I got it. It worked for the most part, I think. And once I was finally satisfied, I went ahead and peeled off the vinyls and the striping tape, and then I realized that it actually looked really, really good like this, and maybe I shouldn't have added the Zipply Peel because... That looks kind of sick, but can't go back now, so I took off the Simply Peel and I was pretty happy with the final result anyway. This is the final result with the shiny top coat. I felt like with this coat though you could still kind of see that blue flame was a little bit sheer. You could tell it wasn't really covering that well. It looked a little blotchy to me, so I actually decided to go ahead and throw in a matte top coat. That's kind of just my immediate panic response whenever I'm not sure what to do about something, so... We'll one matte top coat later. After that, I actually really, really liked how this design turned out. And that's the final result. I wasn't really sure what to call it. I've been going with a slash gradient since it kind of seems like you took a reciprocal gradient and just, I don't know, stabbed it with something, maybe? What do you guys think? <laughs> let me know if you guys have any better name suggestions down below. And let me know what you guys thought of this. If anyone wants to recreate it, I would love to see it. And let me know what you guys would like to see next. I hope you all have a good week, and please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and would like to see some more of it. Have a good week!